There's been a lot of talk about door-to-door -door outreach, so we tagged along to see what it was like and how people responded to it. KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim was there. <laughs> this is Rory and Catherine. They're making their rounds in the urban core. We're with Samuel U. Rogers Healthcare Center. We're running from up the street here. We're just coming around talking to everybody to see if you got vaccinated. Knocking on doors. We're vaccinated right here today yeah. between 10 and 2. And we're doing everyone up 12 and up. We have three different vaccines. You can ask for the one you want. Offering education and access to yeah. the COVID-19 yeah. vaccine. Yeah. The Samuel U. Rogers Health Center has been serving this area for over 50 years in partnership with federal government agencies and the Kansas City Housing Authority. Hello, how are you, man? They're hoping yeah. to meet their communities where they are. So yeah, we're going to knock on this community, then we're going to go to the next one. The team is targeting minorities today, especially the younger generations. Catherine Wiley says data show those who live in the urban core are disproportionate proportionately affected, which is one of the things we're working to end. And that's what COVID has done, assigned a spotlight on that. Wiley says this is often due to the already existing health care disparities. If you know anybody, I'm just going to hand out this flyer, uh, not just for uh, obviously for COVID, but also for other health care needs. One way to close that gap is through education from people they trust. But my concern is people are not going to come get vaccinated if they don't trust you. So this is an opportunity to come out, talk to people face to face. It's personal. It builds trust. We have a relationship with this community as it is. Over the next few weeks, the outreach team will visit 285 doorsteps. Good. Here, I'm going to give you this. Offering their services and any incentives to convince their neighbors. If you come along over, bring the kids, we'll watch the kids for you while you get the shot. Seriously. Yeah, let me know. Want to make sure we, we're all parents. Yeah. <laughs> the team says changing the mind of at least one person is another life saved. When we saw people who were dying because of COVID, we decided to get the uh, COVID shot because when we walk around, we feel safe to go to shops, places, anywhere. The health center aims to be accessible and present to anyone who shows up. The mobile clinic will be back on Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, we appreciate it. Okay, thank, thank you for getting that vaccination. Uh, All right, you. you guys have a good day. You too. Uh -huh. In Kansas City, Gian Kim, KSHB 41 News.